as we look forward to the new year 2024. In today's video, we look back over the year at some of the highs and lows of the channel, the good times and the bad. You might consider staying tuned until the end of the video when we announce our very first prize for Star of the Year. So, let's get to it. When we started the year, the channel was on a bit of a red dwarf hunt. Having already looked at Wolf 359, Lalandi 21185 and Leuton's star back in 2022, our first video of the year focused on the Tiny Tea Garden star and its two Earth-like exo worlds. It turned out Tiny Tea Garden, barely a star at all, could become very, very important in our search for life over the next few centuries. This year's most viewed video of the year award went to our video of Zeta Reticuli, the double sun system, and by some distance. It's since gone on to become the second most viewed video of all on our channel, and as things stand, it could well become the first before too long. Possibly due to external viewings and the Alien franchise bringing in extra views to the video, it focused on the incredible double sun system, located some 39 light years away, which includes two almost sun replicas in a distant orbit. We also imagined what the Alien films may have looked like if they were based on reality. The video also, incidentally, holds the title of second most liked video in our channel. If I were asked which were my favourite videos to write this year, I think the top one would probably be the recent video on Zeta of Fiyuchi. To be frank, I was shocked that there was such a powerful O-class star so close to us, so it made writing the script so easy. At every turn was mind-blowing information in every way, and thanks again to Tua for pointing that one out. I also really enjoyed re-editing and stitching together the full Sun documentary from its parts, while also upgrading the audio, along with our 30 brightest stars countdown that took place over two weeks in March. The duds of the year on the other hand, well, clearly not many of you wanted to know how long it would take to fly to Mars in an aeroplane, and this video to date still hasn't reached 100 views. And in Jupiter versus the solar system, the giant planet's diameter certainly didn't measure up on this occasion, as likewise it's still also to reach 100 views. If I were asked which video surprised me the most, I'd have to go with Spiker the String Triangle Star. I just didn't think it would get that many views as the star itself I thought was relatively unknown. How wrong I was, it seems you guys love Spiker a lot, although technically the video is a 2022 effort, but it's only this year that it zoomed up the channel's rankings, another YouTube algorithm mystery. As for our solar system series, the videos on Mercury under the dome and the Venus mountain colony definitely stood out to me as more of a star oriented channel. To be able to focus on something that was so exciting, possibly even untested ground, particularly with the Venus mountain colony, with of course the continued development of AI helping with some of the imagery. When looking back at what we've learned this year, a few things do spring to mind. Apart from obviously my editing skills improving, possibly from novice to maybe intermediate level, it's pretty obvious to me that so far at least, Neptune and Pluto videos don't do well. Neither does Jupiter, strangely enough, seem to be very high in the list of interests. Yes, you folks do seem to like your star videos, and it's not just the usual suspects, Ritual, Beetlejuice, or perhaps Sirius. As I mentioned, the Spiker video did so well, along with other more obscure stars, surprisingly getting more attention than I expected. We've now catalogued every star in the brightest star list, up to and including Shaola and Castor, and to be honest, I see no reason to stop. I think you guys are open-minded and knowledgeable enough to really delve into the unknown and by chronicling stars that literally only us on this channel and perhaps a few hundred more people on the planet have ever really thought about, even if I do say so myself. Outside of our channel, I admit it, I'm a massive fan of Isaac Arthur, aren't we all? And also I do really enjoy watching Answers with Joe and also Dr. Becky, I think it explains things really, really well. Apart from space, I've also found myself obsessing over Denis Davidoff's daily reports from Ukraine, alongside bizarrely becoming fascinated by the deepness of Eric the Electric's seemingly bottomless belly. It is indeed a mystery. I've tried my best to keep a schedule of one video a week, but sometimes it's not possible and I will try to maintain that level over the next year too. So if there is a week or two when you don't see a video, don't worry. In fact, next week I think I need a rest so there won't be a video while on that subject. On a personal note, some of you may be aware that I recently moved to Spain, and it's been incredible to be able to view the likes of Fommelhout and Shaula, which was pretty impossible before in Northern England. It's also pretty amazing to be able to view Sirius, Procyon and Orion so late in the year. As November arrived, so did our subscriber milestone celebration, as the channel for the first time passed a thousand subscribers. First of all, thanks to you guys for supporting this tiny YouTube channel so far, 
In the short term, I'm really hoping to get to 2,000 subs by around May time and have a lofty goal of 3,000 by the end of next year. The YouTube algorithm, of course, remains an enigma. And sure, I'm aware that by posting funny cat videos or perhaps a clip of a famous film, you can probably get a lot more subscribers and a lot faster. But the original purpose of this channel was to document the brightest stars in our night sky, to have a few conversations with like-minded folks in the comments, rather than any particular goal for fame or fortune. That said, it would be nice to be rewarded from time to time for the efforts. And on that note, let me mention a very, very special thanks to Chatsworth1979, who has pretty much single-handedly supported this channel over the last year, and is indeed another star enthusiast just like myself. Also, I'd like to give a special mention to my good friend Zach from the What's Next channel, who has been a great supporter of Vega Astro since the very, very beginning, and also just a generally great guy to chat to you over email and to enjoy the journey with, and someone I'm delighted to call a good friend. Hank, cheers mate for all your comments. I'm always delighted to see your name popping up. It's really appreciated. And also other regulars like Amelia, Jay, some of our new multiple commentators, Brian, William Lockley, and Cybrant, Stephen GP, and also everyone else who's been supporting the channel, even though you haven't made comments. It's been a pleasure, and season's greetings to all of you and best wishes for the new year to you and all your families. Finally, of course, we have a winner to announce. After our poll, it seems that our very first star of the year reward goes to the wonderful red-orange giant star of Aldebaran. It seems you folks here have developed a love for this fantastic star. Alpha Tauri, a prominent member of the Winter Triangle, and close neighbour of the Pleiades cluster in our night skies. Well deserved, and well done my old orange friend, well done. As we move into 2024, we wonder what discoveries are left to be made, and our search for exoplanets has certainly been hotting up over the past year. Stay tuned to the channel, as for sure we'll return to some of our favourite stars, and also delve from time to time into constellations themselves. At some point, I'm hoping to have a live Q&A session, answering viewer questions, and it remains to be seen what hidden gems remain in our skies for us to consider. Finally, another great big thanks to you all for watching. I really appreciate your support, and all the best for the new year. If you would like to support the channel further, you could consider buying me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so. If you have any videos or subjects you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments below, and it could be your idea next week that shows up. Take really good care of yourselves, Look after your friends and family well, and I'll see you on the next one.